Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Budget Meals. Today we're going to be making my chicken schnitzel burgers. Now they only cost me $12.20, it serves four, so per portion it's only going to cost you $3.05. So, let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So guys, the first thing that we're going to get started on is our cucumber and radish salsa. So just into a bowl, I'm going to be adding in some radish and I've just chopped it up finely. And I've also chopped up just finely some cucumber as well. Next, I'm going to be adding in some sour cream. And I'm also going to be adding in some whole egg mayonnaise, and the mayonnaise just gives it that nice creamy flavour. And of course season with some salt, and of course some pepper as well. And just give that a good stir. So guys, just put that aside, and now we're going to get started on crumbing our chicken. So guys, you've seen me do this many, many times before. We've set up a crumbing station to do our chicken, and I'll get to the chicken in just a moment, but what you will need is some flour, some eggs, and I'm going to be crumbing the chicken in some cornflake crumbs. Now, if you can't get cornflake crumbs or you don't want to use them, just use normal breadcrumbs. Now guys, I'm using obviously the chicken breast, and I've cut it in half, and then I've just hammered it with a meat hammer till about that thick. You don't want it really, really thin, but you don't want it thick either. Just about like that. And you want to hammer it evenly all the way through so it cooks evenly. So the first step is just grab the chicken and put it into the flour. Just shake off the excess. And then transfer the chicken into the egg. And again, just both sides. And again, shake off the excess. And then finally, into those crumbs and get it really well coated with those crumbs. So that's what you're after now. Just keep repeating that process with all the chicken that you have. So once you've finished crumbing your chicken breasts, what I want you to do now, into a pan over a low to medium heat, I'm just going to be adding in some olive oil. And to the pan, I'm going to be adding in our chicken schnitzels. Now because these are quite thin guys, they're not going to take very long to cook and you don't want to overcook them otherwise you might as well go and eat your shoe because it's going to be really, really tough. You want that chicken to be nice and moist but you also want the outside to be beautiful and golden brown. So it should only take about four to five minutes each side on a low to medium heat to cook that chicken through. So guys, that's the colour that you're after, that beautiful golden brown colour. So we've finished here, turn the heat off, and now we're going to start to plate this bad boy up. So guys, for the bread rolls, you can use any sort that you want. I'm just using a poppy seed here, but you can use a sesame seed bun or any other sort of bread that you like. And I've just cut it in half, and again, if you want to toast it, go for it. First, I'm just going to be putting over some mixed lettuce leaves. On goes our chicken schnitzel. And not forgetting our radish and cucumber salsa that we made before so just a dollop of that over the top and just spread it around top on and there you have it guys my chicken schnitzel burger it smells wonderful and I'm telling you now those flavors are going to be just wonderful that crunchy moist chicken and then that radish that crunchy radish radish with the cucumber the sour cream for the tartness the creaminess of the mayo Oh, let's get stuck in. Oh. Oh. Wow. And just check out that chicken. So moist. That is perfect. As always, guys, the ingredients are below, so check it out. You guys take care, and I'll see you this Wednesday for what you want Wednesday, so make sure you get your recipe requests into me through Facebook or Twitter. So until then, take care.